Hey guys, it's me, Aisha, your girl. Okay, so it's about 11 o'clock. It's the 10th today, the 10th. And yes, we have a package going out today. Just a little baby one. Look how thin this one is. But this little package has brought me, I would say, comfortably $17 profit. Um, it's literally a little piece. I'll tell you what it is. It's a scarf, but it's a vintage scarf. Um, I found it a very long time ago and I was going through all my inventory because I've been trying to be do my due diligence and list especially all the items that I have that are vintage and um, um, are very I won't say expensive but they have like a high they could give me a high return so um, I listed this scarf less than like three days ago and it literally sold yesterday or last night I should say and I was not surprised because it was just sitting there. I said, go ahead and list it. Um, I did see that someone else had the same scarf online, eBay, and uh, they had it on auction and it was climbing in price. Um, I just set mine really like at a flat price, $19.99. I ended up buying, I bought this scarf at one of the thrift stores here. It wasn't Goodwill, it was like kind of uh, off brand thrift store um, that I frequent make every blue moon and literally um, I bought it for two dollars did I mention that already I'm driving I'm I'm getting subject I bought it for two dollars you guys and I sold it for actually $19.99 which is not bad give or take so you know after fees and whatnot probably no, maybe I made like $16 off of it. Not bad so I always say if I can double don't be greedy and if I could double my um, profit I'm good so if literally if I would have sold it for five something six something I would have doubled my profit but obviously I did well over double um, it's a gorgeous day here in Vegas it says it's 66 degrees which is very doable finally the heat is gone um, I hope everybody's having a great day it's officially quarter four um, I have seen my sales like I kind of be steady a little bit and just to let you guys know I don't always jump on here if I think about it I'll do a video but sometimes I don't do the video and I just mail the stuff off and I kind of forget about it but I want to be more um, consistent with my videos when it comes to eBay just to show you guys what's kind of so I'm not showing you the particular products but I'm showing you that you know sales can be reached I will tell you I actually worked yesterday uh, I don't think I did the late shift. I got off pretty early, but I started puttering around the house, uh, did some shopping. I was just all over the place. But what I did do is I listed a few items because I like to keep that algorithm going, you guys. I used to list literally from 12 a.m. in the morning to 3. I used to push myself every day when I got off of work um, at midnight from work and list for three hours but now that's not gonna happen just, I just can't but I am being more um, consistent in my listens because I do realize that's what it takes you have to list if you don't list people won't see your product so moving forward um, I did go back through all my listings and kind of um, adjusted some prices and I sent out some offers which I haven't take um, I haven't taken advantage of maybe once or twice but I went through just about all my listings that I had watchers on and sent out offers uh, late last night just to see if I could will anybody in it's still early yet it's 1105 I do realize tomorrow is uh, Friday so a lot of people get paid and I noticed that um, towards the end of the week like Friday Saturday Sunday is when I usually have my upticks in sales when it comes to eBay so we'll see what happens but yeah I mean I'm cool with that I'm just saying I did the math you guys check this out this is what you call Aisha math so um, I broke down how much I just say you make $500 every week I get paid every week I get paid more than that but just say $500 um, four times a month equals $2,000 so me personally because I don't I have very little debt I have no debt I don't have credit cards um, my car is paid off um, I just have real basic bills so I can survive on 2000 probably less than 2000 but 2000 is fair so I broke it down I did the math and literally I would have to make $65 a day to maintain if I left my job say I just quit my job today 
big shout out to all the people that work with me. There's this one girl that, she's my coworker. She just says, I have her cracking up. But yeah, but just say I walked away from my job today. I literally would have to make $65 a day to maintain my uh, living, how I live. Is that possible? Very much so. I mean, I just sold a scarf for like 20 bucks. Um, I'm sure if I had, if I walked away or if I quit, got fired, whatever the case may be, it would give me more time to sit down and actually list. And I always do well, and I don't know if you guys leave a comment down below. When my back is pushed up against the wall, I come out swinging. That's business-wise, relationship-wise, just everything across the board. When you are pushed up, when your back is pushed up against the wall, and you know you have to make those numbers, you actually sit down and list. So I couldn't even imagine, actually I could imagine, but if I did leave my job and I had eight out, more than eight hours of the day, you know, the eight hours that I was spending at my job, I'd be like, you know what, spend six hours nonstop, five days a week, four days a week, three days a week even, listing. I would have so many listings, and I and I promise you, if you anybody that does eBay, if you're new, if you're old, you've been doing it a while, I promise you, it seems like the more, it's with the algorithm, the more you have listed, it's just, your sales will increase. I hope that makes sense. I don't know if that makes, I'm, I'm sure that makes sense to most people. Let me see, let me make sure I don't miss my exit, you guys. Bam, and I'm on the freeway too. So, um, with that being said, just get out there and list, you guys. It's it's the season. I will say this, you guys, and um, some stuff I keep to myself, but I know you guys, if you sit watch me sit down Sunday, so my Walmart videos are the videos that get the most views because everybody likes a good deal and a hunt. But when I talk about, like on sit down Sundays, that's me ranting but giving solutions. A lot of times I'm talking about money, and I just, let me just tell you, money makes the world go round. If you don't think that then you're under illusion in my opinion I try not to say it too much but I really do feel the economy is slowing I said it okay there it is I said it so the way I'm strategizing now is items that are highly sought after things that people need um, in my opinion and I was gonna keep this to myself but I think the last three months of this year going into 2020 is a big push um, a big push for retailers big push for all these companies everybody's trying to get the consumers attention so um, I think this is a great opportunity these last three months to get in there throw your hat in the race you guys start that business get your hustle on flip flip like you've never flipped before and just make that money because I do see moving forward that the economy is going to slow down. So I think a lot of businesses, meaning small, medium, and large, are not going to make it. I already see changes. We're just going to talk about retail. Did you guys know about, what was it, four or five days ago, um, Forever 21 filed for bankruptcy? And you guys are probably saying, oh, another retailer. Well, you know what? There's other companies and businesses that are out there that are showing signs of slowing, meaning, and I just figured, I didn't figure this out, I always knew this, but I love when I have my moments. Did you guys realize, like, uh, we can talk about GE for a minute, how they just froze all the pensions, but I know you guys just wanna hear about eBay, but I find it very interesting. When a company starts downsizing, um, I usually like to watch the banks, that's just me. Um, it's interesting when these big companies start doing layoffs. That's something you have to watch because what they do is they're basically laying off people to cut their costs and save money. Now, I said to myself, because sometimes I just sit alone and I think about things and I have these moments or I'll be driving and having these moments. This is something you need to think about. When all these big companies are doing layoffs and they're slow, that's, that's showing you that they see something coming down the road or they are, it's already affected them, that's why they're cutting costs, they're laying off people. So with that being said, let me repeat that. When you work for a company, or you're just an average Joe, me, I'm just watching all these companies file for bankruptcy, going under, cutting, um, doing layoffs, cutting costs, just doing whatever they gotta do to save money, right? Why are they doing those things? Do they see something coming down the road and or 
is their business obviously already being affected to where they have to lay off people. You need to, like I say when I go shopping, take the tone of these big box stores, meaning Walmart, Target, all these stores that sell, you know, Christmas things. When you start seeing Christmas stuff in June, in July, in August, and you're like, God, Christmas in July? Yeah, Christmas in July, because there are some people that do uh, shop for Christmas in July. They just like to get it over with or they just really love Christmas or whatever the case may be. But you take the tones of the store. So when I start to see little fluctuations in the market or these businesses cutting back on certain things, I see what sector it is and then I just my whole, I don't want to say plan, but how I'm moving and doing business based on that. Okay, that was probably a little too much, but I don't know. Maybe someone found some value in that. That's just me rambling. But yeah, today so far, it's only 11, and I'm on my way again to my CPA's office. <laughs> I love my CPA. She loves seeing They love seeing me when I go there, too. We just have, I'm supposed to go there just for a few minutes, and then it turns into a whole big conversation. But anyways, yeah. Did I make some money today? Yes. And remember, if I was to lose my job, if I was to get fired, if I walked away, whatever the case may be, I would literally have to make just $65 a day to maintain my living status, which is pretty cool. I mean, everybody's different, but do the breakdown. See how much all your bills add up to, and then break it down to 30, 31 day, 30 days, and see how much you would have to make a day. So I made 20, not quite $20, so I'm one third of the way of making my day wage today, right? Right. All right, you guys, that's it. Uh, before I miss my exit, which I just did. Damn it. Damn it. That's all right. We'll double back around. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Remember, sit down and list. If I sell something else today, hopefully it's a big ticketed item. I got Somebody's been watching like a $100 and a $200 item that I have in my store, and I want it sold today. So I'm putting it out into the universe. We'll see if we do another video. All right, you guys, have a great day. If you like this video, you guys, hey, if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. Just saying. All right, bye, guys. <laughs>